Yo, what's up? This is CTW48. Bam! And uh, I want to do fucking how are the Texas Rangers doing? Oh, yeah. So I did one of these, I don't know, earlier in the year. And I was like, huh, huh, huh. I think I'd like the start of the season. I was like, the teams I like are the Diamondbacks, the Arizona Diamondbacks, right, in the National League, the fucking uh, Texas Rangers in the American League, and then I also like watch uh, the fucking Yankees games, even though I don't care that much if they win. Fuck! Oh. Um, so yeah, the Rangers, right? Uh, we just got done with the first half of the season, like the fucking All-Star game and shit, you know, the Home Run Derby. Even though, uh, pretty sure it was over half the season. It's been like 80... Isn't it been like 90 games or fucking something? See, the Rangers are like 54 and... I don't know, 37 or something? Yeah, it's been like 90 games. So a little over half. But uh, the Rangers, oh yeah, they're in first place in their fucking uh, division, right? And... Uh, they're ahead of the Astros. Ugh, the Houston Astros. Oh, yeah, the Rangers are ahead of them. Let's go. Because the Astros suck. You know, they're ass. They're the Astros. Also known as the Trashtros. How could you cheat? No. I hate those guys. Boo, Jose Alpuve. But yeah, so the Rangers, they're doing real good, right? They have, like, the most runs scored in the MLB. Woo, out of all 30 teams, the Rangers are so good. But, you know, then they would be the greatest, but their uh, their pitching is shitty enough to make up for it. So they're like, you know, third best or something. The actual best team is the fucking Atlanta Braves. Boom! They haven't scored as many runs, but, you know, I think their, their hitting is actually better. You know, all their batters, they're like team average <coughs> for... Well, OPS, which is like, you know, the main fucking offensive stat. It's like how often you get on base and how many bases you get and stuff. The Braves have better OPS for the team, but they haven't scored as many runs. How does that make sense, right? I don't know. I guess it's just the Rangers hit better when, when there's people on base. They're more timely with their hitting. Look at that. I'm number one killer, right? So it's like the Braves, they hit better... Except, you know, when, when somebody gets to second base, then all of a sudden the Rangers, you know, they're the greatest hitters ever. Boom! No, they're actually always the greatest hitters ever. Let's go Rangers. Woo! But not really. Um, let's see, what do we got? Fucking Jonah Heim as the catcher. He's the greatest. What's going on? Catchers are supposed to suck balls and also be really fat. Most catchers are just obese guys. I don't know. Um, especially Alejandro Kirk on the Blue Jays. That guy's fat as shit. And then his best buddy, Alec Manoa. He's also fat as shit. They had a competition to see who could eat more hot dogs. And then the competition ran out. I don't know what happened. I don't know who would have won. But anyway, Jonah Heim on the Rangers. Ooh, he sort of looks like he's in shape. But we don't care about that. He hits really good. Let's go. He's hitting like a 280 average, which is good. I don't know. And then I saw some shit that was like, uh, he has the best OPS. There's that hitting stat again. He has the best OPS with the fucking guys in scoring position. I don't know. That just means if the people ahead of him get hits, he's going to get hits. Ooh, he's too good. He's like the best in the MLB. And then what else? Let's see. We have uh, Nathaniel Lowe on first base. Don't think he's been as good as last year. Because last year he was hitting like 315. And he had a bunch of home runs, but I forgot how many. This year, I think he's hitting like 275 right now with some home runs. He's still been good, like well above league average. I don't know about defensively. He's probably like fine. But yeah, so, you know, he's hitting over 272. He's pretty good. You got fucking Marcus Simeon at second base. He sucked ass last year. What happened? Last year, for like the first two months, he was terrible. And then he became okay. This time, for the first, like, two months, he's the greatest hitter ever, and now he's okay, you know? He's, he's hitting under 270 now, I think. Maybe after today, he's back up to 270. But, uh, you know, he's still good. He's above league average. But, like, come on, bro, what happened? You were hitting, like, 310 with a bunch of home runs, and now you're hitting, I don't know, 270. You haven't hit very many home runs recently. What's going on, Marcus? Come on. All my homies love Marcus Seaman. I mean, Semyon. 
Let's see. Fucking shortstop. Corey Seager. Oh, yeah. He's the greatest, bro. He's hitting like 350, and he has like an OPS of a billion, and he's too good. But he used to be on the Dodgers, so I can't like him that much, right? Let's see. What do we got? Third base, Josh Young. Whoa, he's so good. He's a rookie. He's the greatest. Ooh, but not really because, you know, Corbin Carroll's the, the best rookie. But other than him, Josh Young, he's so good. Ooh, ooh, he's hitting lots of home runs. And he's hitting like 280 average because everybody on the Rangers is hitting like 280. Ooh, they're just too good. Fucking, uh, what do we have? Outfield. Adolis Garcia. Oh, yeah, he's too good. He's too good. He has the most runs batted in in the league. Oh, man. And he's hitting, I don't know, he's hitting like 265 or something right now. But it's okay because he has a bunch of home run. Fuck you, bro. This guy's a bitch. Bow combo. Oh. Yeah, anyway. Dolis Garcia, he's really good. He was an all-star. Oh, my God. Yeah, I forgot to mention, like, everybody I already mentioned, they're basically all all-stars because, I don't know, that's funny. The Rangers are just too good. But, yeah, so uh, who else? Who do we have in center field? Like, Laoti Tavares, he's hitting basically 300. He doesn't hit very many home runs, but he's hitting 300, so I don't care. You know, that's cool. Uh, I think, like, Travis Jankowski plays out there sometimes when they're giving uh, Tavares a break. Jankowski's also hitting, like, 310. He doesn't hit that many home runs, but he's hitting 310, so we don't care. Who do we have in left field? I don't remember. I think we had fucking Robbie Grossman, but, you know, he wasn't hitting, like, you know, 30% above league average like all our other guys. So, you know, I don't think we have him out there. We have, like, Ezekiel Duran in the outfield sometimes. He's hitting, like, 300 with some home runs. So, you know, he's the greatest, too. All of our hitters are the greatest. And then what about the pitchers? I feel like I'm forgetting one of our good hitters, which is all of them. But, you know, whatever. If you're good and I forgot about you, it's probably your own fault. Let's see. Uh, fucking... What do we have? What do we have? Pitchers. Yeah. So we got DeGrom, right? We spent infinite money to get Jacob DeGrom. Ooh, let's go. He's the greatest pitcher in baseball when he's healthy. Oh, uh, yeah, he's never healthy. Fuck. He instantly blows his arm up, and he won't pitch for like a year and a half. Great. Turns out we don't need him because we scored fucking 12 runs every game. So apparently, you know, the pitching doesn't have to be that good to keep winning. So, you know, we got, like, Nathan Uvalde. He was an all-star because he has, like, an ERA, which is, you know, the shitty pitching stat. He's really good at pitching. He has an ERA of, like, two and a half. Woo, he's too good. Um, who do we got? Uh, we spent a bunch of money on Andrew Heaney. Probably not that much, but, you know, if we're in the business of spending infinite money. Might as well spend it on that guy, I guess. Except he hasn't pitched that good. He's pitching, he's like a five fucking ERA. What are you doing, Andrew Heaney? Yeah, it's good enough. You still keep winning because the Rangers keep scoring all the runs. But, like, come on, bro. You could stop the other team from scoring runs at least. Like, we want both. We can score and they can't score. It makes sense, all right? When Heaney's pitching, we score runs and they score runs, and then we just hope we score more. Except today, you know, they didn't score any runs when he pitched today. Maybe he remembered how to be good. I don't know. Uh, who else? We got, you know, when DeGrom was injured, we had to bring Dane Dunning in from the bullpen. Now he's a starting pitcher. He's not a relief pitcher anymore. He's too good, bro. He has like a two and a half ERA too. But he wasn't an all-star because I, I guess uh, he, he didn't pitch enough games or something. But he's too good. Dane Dunning's the greatest. Oh, yeah. Who else? Let's see. We had fucking John Gray. And he's got red hair, so ugh, don't like him that much. He was on the Rockies. Oh, I can't like him that much. But he's cool, you know? He's got, I don't know, I think like un, maybe around the 4 ERA right now. He's better than Heaney. He's been pretty good. Except last time, I don't know, he gave up like four runs to some fat-ass guys on the Guardians like a couple days ago. But then, you know, we scored 12 runs again, so we won anyway. Okay. Who else? There's Martin Perez. And he was really good last year. Like last year, the entire year, he had like two and a half ERA. He's too good. I don't remember if he was an all-star, but if he wasn't, he should have been. He probably got some votes for like winning a Cy Young Award. But this year, he forgot that he, he, forgot that he was good. 
Or maybe he remembered that he's supposed to be bad. I don't know. Last year, he has a 2.5 ERA. This year, he has like a 5 ERA. And then he's our worst starting pitcher. Even though last year, he was our best starting pitcher. What happened, bro? What happened? I don't know. Maybe he got some of that drain damage, that brain damage, you know? Forgot how to pitch. I don't know what happened, you know? But, uh, yeah, I mean, could be worse, I guess. We could be the Yankees. Oh, or the Mets. Oh, hate those guys. But let's see. So the, the, the big weakness, you know, the starting pitching hasn't been super great. Some of them have been good. It's been, you know, decent overall. Probably, like, average starting rotation. Except for Uvalde and Dane Dunning. They've been good. But uh, the bullpen, the relief pitchers, what's wrong with them? They all suck ass. So, like, the starting pitcher, he goes, like, six innings. And, I don't know, maybe gives up two runs. And the offense scores, like, ten runs. And then we're like, yes, we're the most winning team ever. And then the relief pitcher comes in. It's like, oh, we got to, there's three innings left. How can we lose the game? Why are you trying to lose the game? Just stop trying to lose the game. Just throw the ball good. What are you doing? The relief pitcher comes in and gives up like 10 runs to the fucking Houston Astros. And then we cry ourselves to sleep. What the hell's going on? Get Jose Leclerc out of there, bro. Get the Spores guy out of there. I don't know if he's even been that bad. But he made us lose a game the other day, so I'm pissed off at him. Uh, who else? We just got Aroldis Chapman. Oh, yeah. Uh, man, he was on the Yankees, like, for the last couple years, and he sucked. You know, he, he, like, won the World Series with the Cubs in, like, 2015 or 2016 or whatever. And then they, they gave him to the Yankees, and he started sucking ass, because everybody sucks ass when they're on the Yankees. Bad vibes on that team, bro. He goes to the Royals this year. Oh, yeah, he remembers he's supposed to pitch good. And then, you know, the Royals suck, so they give him to us. Now he's on the Rangers. Woo, and he's pitched like three innings, but he's been good. You know? He throws fast fastballs instead of like shitty pitchers like, you know, Andrew Heaney. They throw slow fastballs. That doesn't even make sense. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We need to get like seven more good guys in the bullpen, and then we'll have the greatest team ever. Because then when we play the Braves and we both score 30 runs. They won't score 30 runs anymore. It'll just be us. And then we'll win. Yes! Rangers are going to win the World Series this year. They're going to take it in seven games from the Diamondbacks, all right? Let's go. Uh, if you disagree with anything I said, fuck you, bro. Subscribe or you're obese.